We wanted to join the Roddy series because we wanted to get on an established series that we felt we had something to offer. Our degrees are in both education and mathematics. And so we feel like they're a perfect complement to this team. Yeah, so I think with Wendy and I, we both, like we exude teaching. Like teaching is our passion. We love it. We love kind of seeing that aha moment go off in students. But we also feel like rigor is extremely important. So you don't want to lower that level down for students. You want to have them give them the tools so that they can reach that high level of rigor that's needed. And so we really felt like with um, kind of like us coming onto this Roddy team where we could have the rigor already established that we could help students really get to that level by creating accessible content that really breaks the concepts down into a more conceptual level and really helps the students be successful at that level, level of rigor that we're really wanting students to reach. So giving them those tools to meet that level. So a lot has evolved with students, educators, and the discipline. Um, we live in a world where technology is at our fingertips, literally, <laughs> and yet our students have more on their plates than ever. So because of this, we wanted to make sure that we capitalized on that technology, offering the digital content, um, but also tried to make that content not only accessible, but engaging and relatable. Um, we also know that different instructors have different approaches and philosophies. So we wanted to make sure that we enhanced an already existing series that had rigor so that it has something for every instructor and that every student was looking for. So what we really did is, you know, this, this series already is known for its rigor. It has this print version and now in this new edition, it's going to be even more inclusive with any students going to be able to pick up the print version or watch one of the videos that we've made and they'll be able to see themselves in there and see someone that they can relate to, um, which is really cool. It also, you know, we wanted to create an interactive e-text um, so that if it's if a, a college uses just the e digital version, they had it as an interactive version where people can highlight, but also where it links out to the videos within that digital version that we've created. Um, the other thing having really, we've created the videos, so they weren't done by someone that's not on the author team. So they're done by authors who are our passion is, to, I mean, it's what we live and breathe. And so we created videos that cover every single objective in this text and that are more than just examples. So instead they kind of teach the context uh, or the content in a way um, that students can understand and relate to. And they're also gonna hold students' attention by ensuring that they're not too long because we know we've got that sweet spot. Um, so we've broken them up by objective level so that obviously multiple objectives hit one section, but you're not seeing this full long video for one section, they can do objective by objective. Um, we also try to bring in some stuff that students could relate to. So we're getting um, like, for example, function transformations that can be a little boring. And so and not um, relatable and all. not relatable. <laughs> so we introduce it talking about a rear view mirror on a car. Everyone, most people know what a car is and a rear view <laughs> mirror. And that actually is a perfect example of a transformation. So it takes an image. It even says on there, image may be smaller than it seems um are larger than it seems and that's an actual distortion it is taking that image and it's shrinking it that's what a type of transformation is that we do to functions if you tilt to the rear mirror that's shifting it horizontally if you move it up and down that's shifting it vertically so we start with these um things that students can relate to in their everyday life and really use that to help motivate the concepts with the videos that cover again all the content in the text um, there's guided lecture notes that go with them. So if an instructor is flipping their class or is doing it maybe as an emporium style, how do you make sure your students are watching the videos? So these guided video notes are just like a skeleton thing of notes that help students organize the content. And it's a way to hold them accountable for fully watching those videos and taking the notes over them in a very structured, organized way. It's also great for teachers that just wanna teach traditionally with lecturing, they can just take these lecture notes or the video notes and they're basically like a lesson plan already mapped out for you. So if, for example, your college has a grad school student that's teaching the class or maybe a first year teacher or it's their first time teaching pre-calculus, they have already ready to go lesson plan basically developed for them that you know that you can trust the level of rigor will be taught in that class. We've really created this ready to go my lab show so that an instructor can literally just pick it up and it's done and ready to go or they can tweak it and make it ready to go for them. But with whatever style or method that they want to teach, which we know 
There's lots of different styles of teaching and philosophies at every college. And so this way it has something for everybody. It's hard to pick one exciting thing that we're working on right now. I mean, we're kind of working a lot right now um, on kind of everything. I mean, the videos I think are, have been kind of our babies, like where we just, it's something that I haven't seen in other things. We actually, the other thing I didn't note before is we're bringing in these applets into the videos. So it's really helping students visually see these concepts that we're talking about and these hard mathematical concepts and they're seeing them move in real time so they can really understand them at that deeper level. And I'm excited for students to see these. Yeah, and I think, again, keeping with that idea of real life examples, whenever it's possible, we try to make the math content come alive by making it relatable to the student and applicable to their everyday life. So we always try to start off with some example that that it, that gets their attention. Um, and a lot of attention has gone into the details, um, making these videos accessible, making sure that we hit multiple learning styles. Jessica talked about the applets. Um, we have calculator images, we have GeoGebra applets, and then of course there's us talking and explaining the way that we do to our classes. Um, and then we wanna make them engaging. We try to be engaging people. We love what we do. So we <laughs> hope that that comes across. And I think the thing too that you'll see is we actually show up at the beginning of each section's videos. We go away after that because research has really shown sometimes that students can get distracted if you're working at a problem and they see your face. Um, but we do be, we are there at the beginning of each section. And then if we have any little warnings, common misconceptions or mistakes that students make over our content, um, we pop up in the video, our faces come up and we talk about that. <laughs> it's a little warning thing that comes up like warning, remember you can't cancel these terms out. Um, just common mistakes, but we are trying to make it where they see us smiling. They see that we're a kind face. And so it's not as scary watching a math video as maybe it would be to them without that.